Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Astrology News Report, an alternate view of world events as seen through the lens of Vedic Astrology, presented by yours truly, Ron Berger. Today is March 5th, 2017, and in this segment we'll take a look at the week that was and see how the planet's patterns in the zodiac matched up with the past week's events. Okay, so here we are seven or so weeks into the new Trump administration, and at this point it's becoming, well, a bit exhausting. Everyone wants to know, is this the new normal? I mean, is it going to be a scandal a week scenario for the next four years? The week started out seemingly on a positive note. Dear Leader gave an address to the joint session of Congress, and by all reports, things went fairly well. There were no abusive, bullying remarks, no new major lies. The tone was at least a five on the ten-point scale of presidential, and there weren't any embarrassing gaffes. For the most part, pundits were falling over each other, praising the new pivot, and POTUS himself was basking in the glow of his newfound believability. Ah, but no, the sunshine barely lasted 24 hours when the shit hit the fan once again. This time, it's the revelations of the newly appointed Attorney General Jeff Sessions' perjury at his Senate confirmation hearing. Seems Mr. Sessions was asked, more than once, about having had contact with Russians during the Trump presidential campaign. His answer, no. Well, that turned out to be a lie. The issue is not that he talked to a Russian official. That's not against the law, at least not yet. But that he lied about it while under oath. This immediately captured the news cycle, headlines screaming that Session's head should roll, and so began another cycle of allegations, administration denials, media food fights, and so on, making the previous day's happy news about the reactions to the joint session address disappear like a mirage. And then, to cap things off and to divert everyone's attention, on Saturday, Mr. Trump unleashed another inflammatory pre-dawn Twitter rant, this time accusing President Obama of tapping the phones in the Trump Tower during the election campaign. Trump follows up by insisting on a congressional investigation, and so by Sunday, that's all everyone was talking about, and the session's mess got pushed out of the headlines. Okay, so what's going on in the Zodiac during all this? Up in the heavens, the astrology clue was Mercury, planet of facts, logical thinking, reports, and the media conjunct Neptune, planet of fantasy, delusion, and deception. Not a good combination for truthiness, and not a good time for reasonable rational discussions either. But is this a temporary phenomena? Going back to the birth chart of the administration, Based on the time of Trump taking the oath of office, we are reminded of how the chart features Aries rising and the ruler of the chart, Mars, planet of action, being placed in the twelfth house of endings, loss, hidden activities, and yes, conspiracies, and being placed at zero degrees, in other words, signaling an inherent weakness for getting anything accomplished. But this brings up another question. What is it in Mr. Trump's chart that makes him so paranoid about conspiracies against him? Not to say that there aren't any. For this, we have to go to his own natal chart. Well, first, he's got the problem of being Leo rising, sign of the king. The king is always vulnerable to betrayal. 
That is the nature of the king's court. So the king is right to be a bit suspicious. Remember, too, that the king wants to be seen as noble, as magnanimous. So any disparaging news report is a big problem. And then there's his natal Mars, planet of combat and victory and impulsiveness and anger, conjunct his ascendant degree. Any attack is met with an immediate counterattack, and he must win one way or the other. But here's the crucial thing. Notice Saturn and Venus conjunct in his twelfth house, a rather unusual combination. Saturn represents, for the Leo chart, the sixth house, the house of enemies. The twelfth house is the house of the subconscious and hidden activities. Thus, enemies hanging out in his subconscious as, re as well as real conspiracies operating in secret. And Venus, the planet of love, pleasures, enjoyment, is also in the twelfth house of loss, closely conjunct Saturn, which represents the sixth house of difficulties, suggesting some problem with getting enough love, enough attention. Here, in the twelfth house of the subconscious, the house of hidden motivations. And remember, Leo the king needs affection, needs acknowledgement, needs others' approval. Saturn, by the way, is also the planet of fear. There's more to this. Venus is the planet of advice and advisors. And here it is in his twelfth house of loss, of hidden actions, conjunct Saturn, the ruler of his sixth house of enemies. This combination suggests that the king's betrayal will, in fact, be from someone in his own court meaning Mr. Trump does have a reason to be paranoid. And this has already been the case. The leaks that he complains about have been from within. So, here's the prediction. It will be one of his own people who will bring him down in the end. Okay, sorry, that's all the time I have for this week's report. You can keep up with new developments by following me on Twitter at Astro News Report. Until next week.